Well, 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 the drama surrounding the 3v3 YCS Team Sam's team, no pun intended, probably should have won, but they didn't because, you know, Konami is hilariously ridiculous like that. But you know what? It's a good segue into why I think 3v3s are actually kind of garbage. Let's dive on into it, shall we? Hello, ladies and gentlemen, it is your host with the most, Avery LR32. You're in destroy the ever living boo boo stain off of that like and subscribe button as we climb even higher the 1300 ladder. We're only 12 away from 1400. Hope you're having a fantastic day. I really do appreciate all of the support. Real quick, shameless plug, I haven't talked about it in a hot minute. If you want to purchase my book, yes, I wrote a book. Uh, don't judge a book by its cover, no pun intended. There's a link down in the description to uh, my Amazon page where you can buy it. It's $9.99, digital only. I wanted to inspire people with my cancer diagnosis. So I I hope that you'll enjoy it. It's digital only, at least until I get a little bit more sales. Half of all proceeds go toward the VHL Alliance to help raise awareness about this rare cancer diagnosis. So I hope you enjoy it. Now, we got to talk about this 3v3 YCS. I saw the drama going on with Team Sam, right? Let's just get that on out the way. It's it's completely ridiculous. It's actually, to, to quote Team Sam, it's very goddamn ridiculous. Like, it's, it's hilarious to me. I comment on Capital G's video, and I'm just like, this is just hilariously ridiculous. Like, I, I almost can't be shocked at this point but it was actually a perfect segue to talk about why i think 3v3s are the stupidest thing i've ever heard and, and they're just kind of stupid events to be honest with you um i know that this previous 3v3 ycs that just happened had the biggest attendance of all time which is cool i mean i want to see the game grow i want to see it do well i just think the whole concept of 3v3 is just kind of idiotic. Like, I would personally rather see something like Tag Duels. I think that would be a bit more fun. Um, but having a 3v3 is... Honestly, like, if you don't have a lot of friends in the game, which obviously they're trying to get people to make friends in the game, it's not really all that enjoyable. You know, the thing is that if you go to one of these 3v3s, you can go on your own, right? The problem is, is that you then get paired with other people who don't have other teammates of their own. If you want to do well at these type of YCSs, you have to go in with like a stack team. You know, Chris LeBlanc is not going to show up and, you know, play with two other scrubs that end up at table 500. Like he could win all day. And if he's got two scrubs with him, it doesn't matter. You know, even if me and my dad paired up with Valley D, you know, Valley D would be carrying both of us on his back because... My dad's going to probably be playing Stun since now Mystic Mind's banned. He's got to be a scrub like that. He might win maybe half of his matches if he's lucky. I will win like, you know, maybe 80 to 90% of mine. And then Valley D will probably win like the majority of his. But like we're not going to get anywhere if two of the three people lose. So like you have to go in with a stacked team. You got to go in with meta decks knowing what you're doing. And on top of that, the data, I think a lot of people really jump on the data of these 3v3 YCSs um, because of the fact that when you look at these pie charts, you know, right, out of like 100%, 50% this deck, whatever, the data is going to be much more higher for certain decks than others compared to a regular YCS because it's three people, let's say they're all playing the same deck. You know, the percentage of voiceless voice will be, say, higher if you know, two people in a team are playing Voiceless Voice and the third one's on like Cash Tira. Same thing with Cash Tira. Cash Tira is going to have a little bit of representation because one dude on the 3v3 team is playing fucking Cash and like they could have been scrubbing out all day. That's the other funny thing is that in theory, if you think about it, you could play like a Beaver Warrior beatdown deck with like a Tri-Brigade engine. If the other two people on your team are just insane gods at this game and they're playing Snake Eyes and they just win all their matches, they could climb you all the way up to the finals. And then before you know it, we have a Beaver Warrior deck win a YCS. That's actually what happened in the finals of this team YCS is that they cut to two dudes that were playing. But I think, was it Crystal Blanc's team? Yeah, Crystal Blanc's team. Him and then the other guy on their team won. So then the third dude who is still in the middle of a match playing his opponent like disrespectfully gets up off the table and starts celebrating with his friends because the match didn't fucking matter at that point. He could have just said, hey, I scoop, you got it. Like it didn't matter because two of the three people won. Like it was actually like just extremely disrespectful, but it was also kind of funny in like a, a rude way at the same time because it's like there's no point in watching these finals because once you see two people win, it's over. Like, you can't even really say a certain deck won unless all three people were playing Snake Eyes because, like, you know, 
two people won with Snake Eyes, but the third dude's on Voiceless Voice. So, like, who won the fucking YCS? Snake Eyes or Voiceless Voice? Like, it's not a very good way to grab data. It's entertaining to watch, I guess. But at the same time, another reason why I don't like it is because if I'm playing against somebody, right? Like, let's let's take the Tempi Dragons. I know that they're only OCG right now, but they come out Legacy of Destruction. Like, let's say you go to an event right after it drops. People don't know what the shit does. I'm sitting there playing Tempi Dragon against, I don't know, insert player's name, Team Sam, and he doesn't know what the Tempi Dragons do, and I start comboing off in game one, but let's say Pac knows what the Tempi Dragons do. He can look over at Sam and say, hey, this is what Tempi Dragons do, blah, 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 blah. Hey, this is the type of card you want to side deck in, like blah, blah, blah. I know that they have rules now in place where it's like, essentially, it's like a workaround, but it's the same thing where, let's say you have one, two, and three. Two cannot, well, two cannot tell three, like, what to do, but instead one has to tell two and then two has to tell three, from what I understand how that works, which makes no sense to me. So, you lose that ability to pants people when you're in, like, a 1v1 in, like, a normal match, like, a normal YCS regional national setting. Again, like, it's cool for show, I guess, but it's never something I'd want to go to. Am I a little bit biased because of the fact that, like, I don't have a bunch of friends that I play test with on a regular basis that I, like, hey, let's all squad up and go to the 3v3 together? Sure, but I mean, I feel like those friends that I have in Yu-Gi-Oh! are different than the friends I see on a regular basis. Like, I'm friends with people in my community, but, like, I'm not friends with them to the point where, like, we're going out to the bar on the weekends. Like, you know, they're like my Yu-Gi-Oh! group friends, which is fine. That's not a big deal. It's just that... I don't know these people to the point where it's like, hey guys, let's go get a fucking hotel for the weekend and go scrub out at a 3v3. Like, there's a different type of nuance to a 3v3 event that I understand that regular events don't have. But to say that, like, we're in a tier zero format because a 3v3 in the top 16 had over 70% Snake Eyes engine, it's not really a tier zero deck, it's just more of a tier zero engine because anything that plays is going to instantly be just that much better. Outside of, like, that nuance of being able to squad up and go somewhere together, I don't really understand the desire of it, especially now that I've seen that, you know, you end up in one of these kind of things and if you say, God damn, like, you just, you get a game loss, like... <sighs> It's, I, I think that's more Konami just being asinine on their own part, but it's, it's just not something that seems enjoyable to me. And I mean, uh, with how terrible my luck is in this game, I know with my luck, I would walk in with Tempi Dragon, do a three v three YCS, not have anyone else to squad up with, and I'm gonna get with two dudes who are like playing fucking Crystal Beast, like, and we're just gonna be losing our matches all day because those two dudes don't know what they're doing. Meanwhile, I'm over here kicking ass, like. Uh, it's it's one of those things. And plus, too, like, <laughs> you could get with people who just don't like you, if you think about it. Like, you could get with two people who are, like, playing Snake Eyes, but then you're on, like, Centurion or whatever, and then they're just going to judge you all day and say that you're mad. And if you need, like, help in a match, like, you need advice, they're just not going to give it to you. <laughs> like, that's actually something I just now thought about while recording. It's like, you could get two dickheads on your team that just don't want to help you at all. Like, they're they're just going to carry each other as long as they can go. And then both of them may want to drop out, and then you're just sitting there like, what's going to happen? That's the other thing, too. How does that work? Like, like let's say you do go in with, like, two other of your friends, right? And two of them want to drop, but yet you don't. Like, even if you're doing well, they just get tired. Or if you go in and you pair up with two random-ass people, what happens if, like, two of them drop? Do you have to drop two? They're not going to be like, oh, hey, let's pair you with these other two people who are 7-0, and oh, and all of a sudden you jump up to being 7-0. and oh. Like, how, how does that work? Like, I'll admit, I've never been to a 3v3, but it's because I think the whole idea is just stupid. Like, it's, I'm not going to do it. It just seems like such a waste of fucking time. Like, if I want to get data from an event, I'm going to look at a regional, preferably big ones, or I'm going to look at, like, regular YCSs, like what's happening in North Carolina or Indy or whatever. I'm not saying that, like, if you go to these 3v3s, like, you're a stupid bad player. I'm just saying it's not for me because of X, Y, and Z. But let me know if you've ever been to a 3v3. Like, what happens if, like, one player drops or two people drop and you're still like, no, I want to keep playing? Like, do you just get bullied into dropping? Or, like, do you just have to drop because the other two people drop? Like... That, that actually seems really funny. Could you imagine driving hundreds of miles to a 3v3 YCS and two people from your team drop because you got randomly paired with somebody or even the two people you went with just drop after round one so you drove thousands of miles to play one round in a fucking YCS? <laughs> That's probably why Sam said goddamn, right? Because he's just like, it is what it is, this format. 
maybe that's because he realized that this format uh, needs a bit of a change. I don't think it needs an emergency ban list, but it definitely um, needs a bit of a change. That's why I've been playing Tenpai Dragons. This deck is so good. Also, uh, Zongdora, fun fact, says, start of the damage step. You can't use SP Little Knight in the damage step. Still trying to learn all what you can use in the damage step. No, you can just use attack modifier cards, but yeah, I was able to get around a Little Knight that couldn't be destroyed by card effects because of a Mask Reina because he couldn't activate it in the damage step. That deck's so broken. Guys, let me know what you think about this in the comments below. I'll... Yeah, I've got jumbled up there. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next video.